Hi, good evening everybody. Two more Southland Conference schools have announced they are leaving for the Western Athletic Conference. The University of Incarnate Word and McNeese State are, are joining up with four fellow Southland Conference members and moving to the WAC. So how does this affect the Islanders and even Texas A&M Kingsville? Take a look. The Islanders have been members of the Southland Conference since 2006. They have seen a whole lot of schools come and go during the past 15 years, but movement, well, it has really intensified this past year with Sam Houston State, SFA, ACU, and Lamar heading to the WAC, leaving only eight members in the Southland. So what about the Islanders? With no football program, would they still consider moving? No, we're, we're, we're committed to the Southland. And with that being said, Islanders Athletic Director John Palumbo says his school is committed to helping his league move forward, but admits all the changes impacts his program greatly. It does affect scheduling. It affects, uh, you know, travel in terms of, you know, what new cities you might be heading to um, and places that you're used to going that maybe you're not. So, yeah, it, it trickles down to pretty much every facet of what we do. Perhaps one strategy to help bolster the Southland Conference is by adding Division II schools from the Lone Star Conference. That's already happened with the addition of Texas A&M Commerce. So what about Texas A&M Kingsville? Well-rounded in all sports, would they consider moving up to Division I? No, at this time, Alan, we are not uh, entertaining that. We are primarily focused here right now on really improving our status as a D2 institution, and our goal is to become a top 10, 15 Division II program. So that's our primary focus is there's a lot of external things going on right now. We're focusing internally on just getting better sport by sport across the board and making sure we're a highly competitive D2 football program and athletic program across the board. There you go. And it's going to be interesting to see just how all this plays out. The Lone Star Conference is hoping to add more teams soon, and we will keep you posted on the very